You know, the thing, the rhythm just started picking up. You know, we started getting going from there, you know. Started to make a couple of big plays down the field. You know, when the big plays get get made on the field, we're able to use a tempo, you know, especially when teams come up here, you know, in the high altitude. Uh, it's, you know, easy for us to get things rolling and get, you know, get the show on the road, for lack of better terms. Did they get worn down a little bit? Yeah, like I said, you know, they were, you know, you could tell that, you know, like I said, that's one of the advantages we have playing in Bozeman, Montana is, you know, we're at 4,200 feet. Uh, a lot of guys don't have that. You know, we have, we've been conditioning all summer, all, you know, all fall. Uh, and we were, uh, you know, prepared for that conditioning battle. You only turned it into three points, but how big was that D'Agostino punt block? <laughs> yeah, that was big time, man. That's uh, Johnny D's a ball player. You know, you got to tip your hat to him. And, uh, you know, when big players make uh, big plays in big time situations. So that was awesome. Uh, good to see. <clears throat> First time you felt like you guys really got it going on offense. Oh, actually, I felt like we lacked a little bit. Um, I felt like we were lacking a little bit. You know, we did score 55 points. There's a lot to work on, um, and we're going to get better, you know, from here. Um, we got a lot to learn from this film, and uh, we're going to take another step next week. Than before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the goal. Each week, you know, be better than the week before, right? You know, if you're, you know, the, as the old saying goes, if you're not improving, you're, you know, getting worse. So each week, our goal is to get better than the week before, and I think we did that today. And you know, we're going to do the same thing next week. Chris Murray comes in and gives you guys a little bit of a spark with these two touchdowns, but then Tyler responds really well after that. Is that the best rhythm you've seen Tyler read? What do you think of his ability to strong yeah, you know, right there? I think you got a good one-two punch right there with uh, Tyler and Chris. You know, you got a guy who can move well in the pocket with Chris Murray. You know, kind of a spark plug back there. You know, you never know, never know where he's at, what he's doing with the ball. <laughs> Actually, those last two plays of the first half were uh, completely wrong play. They were not, were not what was supposed to be called. But uh, uh, he made it work, got in the end zone, and then you got Tyler. You know, the consistent guy back there. You know, and. One thing that's good to see is uh, Sticks, you know, old 11 back there is finding the rhythm, gaining some confidence, and, you know, starting to sling the rock like we all know he can. You guys, or uh, they came in, I, I guess, with a pretty formidable front seven. How could you say you guys competed with them, like, in the trenches? You know, like I said, they, you know, I said that all week. They got some dudes up front, uh, you know, some big boys, some guys who play physical. They got great coaching over there. And, uh, you know, I think we did do a good job of uh, stopping their initial start. They had to throw a lot at us, you know, like I said. Um, they did bring a lot of noise, uh, a lot of junk. But, you know, that's just a small test compared to what's going to be coming up next week with North Dakota. You know, North Dakota is uh, highly, highly known for having a junk defense and bringing a lot of, you know, a lot of trash. And so, uh, you know, this is a small test, and uh, we're going to be needing to, you know, pick it up next week. How important is it to have a performance like this, knowing what's what's coming? No, it's good. I mean, always like you know, scoring 55 points and shutting out a team at home is always you know a, a great confidence booster. You know, rolling into conference play. So I'd say it's very important. You know, it's what we needed, and uh, you know. But like I said, at the same time, there's a lot to improve on, a lot to learn from this film. And we're going to take the next step and roll from here. Tell can you talk about uh, Chris Murray comes in for three straight series, but then you come in and you respond really well by throwing the two touchdown passes. What's your mindset when you're on the sidelines, and how are you able to respond so well? Yeah, I mean, all of our job is just to do do what we're asked to do to help the team. And um, Chris is a tremendous player, um, makes, you know, a lot of plays, um, brings a different, you know, skill set to the table and, and uh, all things that the defense has to prepare for and things that can help our offense, you know, move the ball and score points. So, um, you know, we're just doing what we're asked to do. And, and uh, you know, today that's, you know, it varies from week to week and, you know, just roll with the punches. There in that second quarter, after struggling in the first 15 minutes, um, just just execution, really. Um, you know, the Johnny's block punt got us the ball. You know, you know, on the goal line, and and uh, we need to do a better job of, of turning that into seven as opposed to to three. And um, you know, like like uh, JP said, there's still a lot to learn from the film, and and a lot we still need to clean up. Hey, John, it looked like you were a little frustrated after you dropped that potential interception. Uh, to the point that you didn't even want to leave the field. How big was this to come back and get one for you? Oh, uh, it was real big. Um, I told myself next time they throw it, I got to pick it up. You know, I can't drop. And um, they threw it my, my, back my way, and I made sure I caught it. Yeah. Playing against the team where you guys are heavily favored, but then pitching a shutout was pretty much smaller than the whole time. How are you guys able to do that, just mentality-wise? Um, I feel like we just came to work every day, and uh, – in practice uh, last week, um, you know, getting a shutout is hard. You know, I didn't, I didn't play it against when I was at Colorado. Um, we we didn't get a shutout against teams, so 
you know, it's hard to get a set out, no matter who you playing, you know. So, I feel oh. it. How much confidence does the defense have after these last two weeks going into Big Sky play? Um, I feel like we got, I feel like we got a lot of confidence. I feel like it's about us, you know. I feel like it don't matter who we play, as long as we just go out there, execute the game plan, and stay, stick to our technique. I feel like we could play with anyone. Same question for the offense. How much confidence you gained from today? Yeah, um, explosive plays is something that we emphasized a lot after last week, and and uh, we had had some good things. Um, like I said, still some things to clean up, but we did make strides this week and need to continue to do so this coming week. Tyler, when you were kind of sitting there watching Chris, um, how much did that maybe motivate you? Like what was going through your mind when you were thinking, like, I got to you know, come back in and, and perform? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're always motivated. And uh, you know, like John said, it doesn't matter who we're playing. We need to, we need to keep the foot on the gas and, and keep rolling. So. Um, you know, like I said, just two different skill sets, and, and Chris, is a tremendous player, brings a lot to the table, and and uh, you know, we just need to do what, do what we need to do to help the team score. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.